Good afternoon. Just some quick psychological points. This is Devang Mehra, Thursday, 2.27 p.m., 6th January 22, weekly expiry. And uh, I just want to discuss why we went long on banks today and what really happened on the charts because you opened a very big gap down after how the global markets were underperforming. So how did we decide to switch sides? So I think these psychological points will help you going forward and uh, in understanding the markets. So, you know, try to understand. Today when the markets opened a very big gap down, whenever we never ever buy over here, because we always think like this, that whenever the markets have opened gap down, these everyone who has gone short, anyone who went short over here or over here, they would have a stop loss above these highs or above these highs. So unless until these levels don't get triggered, these people's trailing SLs don't get triggered. Try to understand anyone who's gone short, they will trail SL and they will only start to panic when the market starts to go above these levels and give you a green candle. But that never happened. Uske baad the market went down. So why are we getting buying pressure from, from here? Remember yesterday's voice note that we discussed on Telegram that agar market gap down khulta bhi hai because the market is in an overall long term or I would say overall short term, medium term, a bull bullish advancing market. That is why whenever the markets come down sooner or later, they will keep on finding supports and supports and supports. And that is why we have to keep on moving with the river. So markets came over here and then they started to stop over here. Then I sent you a 30 minute chart on Telegram and I said this that, you know, on the 30 minute chart, if you're observing a 30 minute chart was, I think somewhere over here. Yes. 10 15. on a 30 minute chart. If you were observing the market had given you a very big, uh, this is bank Nifty. Sorry, I'll show you Nifty chart. I think then things will be very simple. If you observe the chart of Nifty, the 30 minute chart was looking like this. Yet 10 30 wala candle. It, it was a very, very big red bar. When such a big red bar has happened in the market, you have to again understand Jiska bhi stop loss yaha pe tha, they are trailing from here to here to here, etc. That is why I mentioned this level 17,725. Today on in the entire telegram chat, I was just using this level that 17,725 as long as that level is maintained. You cannot plan any aggressive trade on the upside because anyone who went short has a stop loss at that point of time. That is why market do teen bar usne upar aane ka try kiya, but it just kept on falling down. It just kept on falling down. But what happened after that? It gave you a stop hunt over here. Anyone who tried to go short must have got a good 5, 10 point SL over here. And when the market now open a 15 minute chart. Now this is how important it gets uh, because when you plan intraday, it's, it's very important that you keep on understanding and becoming a chameleon, especially on the expiries. If you open a 15 minute chart, you can see what happened over here. When the market from 725 fell down, and then it went back up. Isne ye pullback diya ap loko, which was at 700. This is why if you met, if you see, this is why I sent you a message that 17,725 now should be reduced to 17,700. So if the market goes above 17,700, then no shots have to be planned. And the reason I mentioned about this was very simple because yaha pe aapka double bottom, ye W becomes completed. And I've always told you this, that whenever double bottoms are formed on the chart, only then can you plan reversal trades. Otherwise, you cannot plan reversal trades because this is showing you accumulation strength is being done in the market. And that is why when the markets went above that, Uske baad some inside bars are formed over here and then the market kept on going forward. Uske baad another inside bar formed over here and then the market again is in our all-time highs or, or the intraday high. The question is now if the market is closing at intraday high, you cannot plan short in the market. Yes, some people will have this qualification that our market is closing at this gap resistance over here. It's simple now. If the market closes at gap resistance and it opens flat tomorrow, then you can buy one once this gap border gets, gets crossed so that you can go for these 100 point target. But I can't just go short just because the market is closing at, all, is closing at a high, high level. Please understand. All banks right now have just entered the green territory led by Axis and ICICI Bank particularly. So again, the heavyweights of the market are closing at the highs. Then what gives you the right to go short? This is the only thing that I have to mention. Now, please see Bank Nifty chart also. See how the Bank Nifty reversal happened. Yaap, it was so clear on the chart. Market fell down, wasn't able to close below that. Try to come up. Yaap, it came 37,340. And this is why I mentioned clearly on Telegram also today that 37,340. 
I'll just show you that message because I think it is important. 37, 340, I said it by FTBM. Iske upar, the banks will become strong. And when the market went above 37, 340, double bottom complete, hua, yaan pe aapne long karna tha and the market kept on going forward. So have I enjoyed the entire momentum in intraday? I haven't. I haven't because my targets would end somewhere around 37,000, 430, 400 levels. We are earning an equity. That is why I always say, expiry pay, whatever is in your destiny, take it. Because expiry pay is 0, 0. Secondly, when the market goes beyond your targets, that's the reason we sit on equity. So that our equities can go higher like ICICI Bank particularly. And we have no FOMO to sit back on. So always, always and always remember these psychological rules that I've taught you. And always have cutoff levels that I give you on the chart so that they can help you, uh, you know, in the markets in deciding when to go long and when to go short. So I hope today's view was clear on Telegram. And I'm telling you this again, that guys, please, Market ko jab tak water flow kar raha hai, water ke saath chalte rao, uske against mat jao. Uske please against mat jao. Aaj expiry has been done and the markets have comfortably survived the expiry. So I do not expect anyone to hold a short overnight because we are again closing at the highs. And the plan is again simple. If you open flat, again you buy. If you open a gap, if now, now, if you're observing the charts, anyone who's gone long will be having this point as a stop loss. So unless until the markets are going below this, we cannot plan any aggressive shots again. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. So you have to keep these points in mind. Keep all these points in mind. Don't go against the trend. Don't buck the trend. And I hope you found it all useful. Thank you so much.